Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have community notes violating people from Twitter again. These are the ones that I put down as savage. Last time it was the ones that I put down as funny. So these should be a little bit meaner. And uh, we'll just we'll just see if that's true or not. They do feel a little bit more savage in some cases. So yeah, let's see what we've got. All right, up first, it's everyone's favorite idiot. It's Andrew Tate. Now, of course, our good friend Andrew Tate says, Sex is for making children. Any man who has sex with women because it feels good is gay. Oh, my pee-pee feels good. This is great. In fact, if you are 40 with less than 5 children, you're probably gay. All that feel-good pee-pee sex and hardly any genetic legacy. <laughs> He's so deranged. It's, it's great. The readers have added context, I thought we might want to know. Having sex with women is straight. There you have it. Now, of course, they could have been even more specific and said, men having sex with women is straight, but I'm sure we can all, I'm sure we can all get that's what they meant. I just love reading the insane stuff that Andrew Tate comes out with. It is incredible to think that people will read this and be like, you know what? He's so right. So true king. Big W. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> he's he's so stupid. <laughs> so this person here, they say, if you are attracted to a minor, someone 17 years or younger, you are a PDF file. And then there's some redoubted context here. Margie meant, or known in real life as full name, is a registered sex offender slash PDF file. In March 2024, he was charged for trying to meet a minor. In April 2024, he was charged with CP possession. How do these people find this stuff out? How do you see this? I know who this guy is. I guess they know him in real life, or maybe he's like a prominent figure or something, and they, and they connected the dots. I don't know how they get the dirt on these people, but damn, what a, what a silly thing to tweet if you are, you are one of them. That's not very smart. This one's from Daily Mail Online. So they've done like a bad job of a title here. I'm going to reword it because I'm pretty sure there's a word in there I'm not allowed to say. But their title is Cougars in the Classroom. The alarming rate of teachers charged with sexually assaulting young boys in America. And they've got some images here, some different mug shots of the different offenders. But there's some reader added context. A cougar is a slang term used by many to describe an older woman who dates younger men. These women are not cougars, but rather sexual predators. That's true. I, I would never have thought that a cougar was, <laughs> was like that. If you say cougar, you know, you're talking about like MILFs or something. <laughs> not fucking child abusers. Jesus, man. Daily Mail Online, online needs, to, uh, needs to maybe get some new title writers. All right, so this person here, I was confused when I was reading this, and I'll explain why after we go through it, but they say, zoos are valid, zoos are valid, zoos are valid, zoos are valid, zoos are valid. Did you know being attracted to animals is valid? One more time, zoo files are valid. Interesting. There's some reader added context. Zoophilia is classified as paraphilia and committing acts of bestiality is illegal in almost all states. Now, I was confused when I first looked at this because I hadn't heard the word zoophilia or zoophiles or anything before. So when I was reading zoos are valid, I thought they were talking about like animal zoos, like, uh, like, like you go to the zoo and you see a monkey. I thought they were talking about that. So then I was reading it. I was like, why would zoos not be valid? Is this like a is this like an animal rights thing? They don't want the zoos. Oh, but I thought zoos were trying to help rehabilitate the animals and stuff. Like, And then I got down to the bottom and I was like, Jesus, they're talking about bestiality. <laughs> so then it made me realize I did not know enough about sexual fetish shit, I guess, because I just was not expecting this at all. Came into this with completely different expectations until I got down to the bottom. So this person is obviously struggling with some inner turmoil. Because they say, being a Taylor Swift fan in 2024 feels like being a Jew in 1938. Which, 
I can't imagine how, but there's some reader added context. Unlike many Jewish people in 1938, Taylor Swift fans are not facing imprisonment and execution for being fans of Taylor Swift. True. Is there some Taylor Swift drama going on about, going on that I don't know about? I don't know why I would know about it, but is she like hated now or something? She's pretty successful, I'm, I think. Isn't she like super successful? I don't know a lot about her, but I don't know if this is a very fair comparison. <laughs> kind of wild to just post this publicly I guess there's no way to know how many likes it got but maybe there's other oppressed Taylor Swift fans out there that can relate to her okay so this person they're typing in all caps but I don't want to yell so I'm just gonna um I I'm just gonna read it wake up wake up the apocalypse is here everyone who has ears listen your time to choose what you believe is now if you believe a new world is possible for the people, retweet now. There is power in choice. There is power in choice. Repost to make the choice for the collective. Alright, bit of a call to action there. we got to repost this and I guess we go to heaven? There's some reader added context to clear this up for us. The solar eclipse of 2024 did not bring an apocalypse. Danielle Johnson, known as Aoka, suffered an unfortunate mental break that led to the murder, suicide of herself, her partner, and their eight-month-old child as a result of her conspiracy theory. Holy shit, man. So she thought the end was coming? If the end was coming already, then why would you need to do that? Couldn't you just die with everyone else? It's fucking crazy. Alright, so this person's been a little bit misled. They say, under communism, every family will have food on the table. Because, of course, communism idea is like everything gets shared amongst everyone. Yeah, I don't know about that. But there's some reader added context. Communist countries undergo food shortages regularly nowadays. Before the fall of the Soviet Union, not only were these shortages frequent as well, but communist governments also made them happen purposefully under the pretense of collectivization. Isn't North Korea a communist nation? And aren't they like actively starving at all times? I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know. Anyway, craziness. Alright, so this one here, it starts out as seems nice and wholesome. Relationship goals. And we've got a beautiful story here of, you know, two people look at this over the span of five years. Oh, and look, they've got a little child now too. Isn't that lovely? Maybe not. There's some reader out of context. The couple in the photos are not together anymore because the man killed his mother in their home. She now has a new relationship. So, there you have it. Uh, he fucking killed his own mum. So she bailed. Makes sense. Uh, that's uh yeah maybe not maybe not relationship goals after all all right here's another example of someone just being openly silly and not thinking about what they're saying when they type it out if you accidentally say something like verbally you don't have that much time to like edit it fix it oh whoops i've already said it i can't exactly press backspace on my words but when you're typing stuff out like you have all the time in the world to like double check it press backspace oh i changed my mind on that maybe i want to say this instead oh that doesn't really get my point across some people just do not do that at all i mean even the first word is a spelling mistake but let's just see what it says here every jew i meet is a holocaust survivor or parents survived the germans obviously didn't know what they were doing some reader added context it is not possible for a person born in 1979 to have met people who died during the Holocaust. Because how would you? Because they're dead. It just doesn't make any sense. This is the silliest thing to say ever. I, it's obviously supposed to be a burn against Germany. But it's just stupid. It's just too stupid. Maybe they need to take away Jake's internet privileges for one week. Alright, so this person's saying, I got knocked out by a WWE champion. So, 
Yeah, I, that's the wrestling one. Uh, I can't remember what it stands for. But anyway, there's some redirected context. It says, Chase and Rance was never even on the WWE roster. He is on the sex offenders list, though. <laughs> Why is there so many sex offenders out here on Twitter? Jesus. Oh, wait, I've been on Twitter before. I know why. Yeah. No, I, oh. Ooh. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter's kind of rough. Ooh. Alright, so... This person proudly exclaims, Fact. God has never made a single drop of alcohol. The earth has never produced a single drop of alcohol. 100% of all wine and alcohol is manufactured by fallen men. Nothing good ever comes out of alcohol. Okay, fair enough. I don't think that's true, but fair enough. Readers have added some context. Jesus turned water into wine. Source, the Bible. And then they've linked Bible.com. Is that a real website? Can you just read the Bible online? That's crazy. But also, don't grapes that fall off the vine eventually ferment on the ground and then there's like a certain type of monkey or something that eat them and they get drunk? Or like an animal or something? I'm going to look that up when I finish recording. And if that's true, I'll put a picture of the monkey or creature. I can't remember what it is. And if it's not true... I'll just leave all this in so I look silly. Alright. We've got another victim of celebrity infatuation here. They say, Celebrities with loyal partners since childhood. Number 8. Will Smith and Jada Smith. Uh oh. There's some redirected context. Jada has not been faithful to Will. Didn't she, like announce that herself like that's not even some some secret situation she like has admitted to that i thought on a tv show right in front of the guy i mean it it must be rough to be will smith this is embarrassing for poor lynn here <laughs> here's here's everyone's favorite macho man the liver king an undeniable force of unmanliness the kale doesn't fall far from the cow He's the most complete barbarian to date. He bled through his soul for this. Join me in welcoming, in welcoming Awaken with JP to the Brotherhood. There will always be a commensurate trail of blood. But readers have added context. Liver King was exposed for spending as much as 11,000 USD a month on steroids despite a prior apology and vow to go natural. He has since begun using steroids again. His muscles are not from a raw meat diet, which can also make you very ill. How can anyone look at this guy's body and think that that's just normal and achievable without the use of steroids? That's crazy. If you go to the gym, you'll see people that work out all day, every day, all the time. They eat perfect diet everything and they will not look like this but then if you inject them with some steroids well things can change so yeah i don't know how people fall for this shit man so this person says according to trump russia defeated hitler the ignorance and stupidity of this man has no bounds but of course they've been corrected the Russians were instrumental in the defeat and unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany. <laughs> and then they just provide uh, some kind of source here. Okay, well, whoops. Hmm. All right, we love to see someone smug getting shut down. They say, Tell this to my Rolex watch, loser. Won't even bother to explain what is the actual purpose of such watch because someone poor will never understand. But readers have added context that they thought people might want to know. The purpose of a watch is to provide the time of the day, the hour and minutes. Very true. That is what you would use a watch for. In fact, you got a clock on your phone now, you probably don't even need to wear a watch anymore. So, you know, I, I just use my phone. These wrists are watch free. So we've got Zelly here weighing in. A ceasefire with an expiration date isn't a ceasefire. But of course, Community Notes is here to correct this little issue. 
The definition of a ceasefire is a temporary suspension of fighting. It, like, all this stuff is Googleable. When I see a word that I don't completely know, like maybe I'm 80% sure what it means, I just go on Google and I type define and then the word, and it will usually give you like a couple of examples of, of what it means. It's pretty accurate. It's a lot easier than looking silly. But not everyone does that, I guess. It's a bit, a bit crazy of me to expect that on Twitter. But yeah, there you have it. You can You can look silly pretty easily. Alright, so we've got another person trying to be clever, but sort of failing. They say, If Z or Kim were talking about banning one of the most social media platforms, everyone would be screaming about fascist censorship. They're quoting here, Joe Biden says that if Congress passes a bill that could ban TikTok, he will sign it. But there's some reader added context. Every major international social media platform is blocked in China, as for North Korea, the internet is not public. Even TikTok itself is under a different name and a completely different app in China and serves a completely different person, uh, purpose. And, and person too. It serves to educate them. Whereas over here, TikTok is like just for just, just brain rot, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mindless entertainment at the scroll of a finger. I mean, it's good. It's good in small doses, but I would not be surprised if everyone's attention span in the next 10 years just plummets. You won't be able to pay attention to like even a single sentence. Even already, I go on Reddit sometimes to look for dumb shit. And uh, you can see that people, they can't even make it through an entire post. And then you go down to the comments and it's like them asking a question that is clearly explained and answered in paragraph two of the post. And so, you know, they didn't read it. They read the title, they maybe read the first five words, and then they've jumped straight to the comments to ask a question. It's like, what? just read the whole thing. Just read it all. Because you know if you reply to them, they're not going to read it. They've moved on to the next thing. Oh god, it's so annoying. Oh well. Humanity's doomed, I'm telling you. Alright, so that'll do it for Community Notes Violating People. Uh, this was the Savage Edition. The upload frequency is really slowed down because I've taken on a lot of extra projects, which, you know, that's that's kind of how it is. You come up with a project, you get into it for like two weeks, and then the next week you're like, ah, oh, something new. So, yeah, upload frequency has slowed, but I will continue to upload. I'm still planning a game show and still streaming over on Twitch. So, yeah, I do all kinds of stuff. Come Come check it out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below if you found any of these funny, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye bye.